Good afternoon and welcome back to the One Celtic Fans View. Fantastic news if you're fans of Liam Scales and even bigger news if you're fans of Dyson Maida this afternoon because yes, Dyson is back in training. He was spotted. Well, Celtic released a picture, didn't they? Uh, they posted on Twitter else earlier today a picture of Dyson Maida and I've got to say, doesn't look like he's under any strain. Uh, looks like he's back fit and ready to play this weekend, which is fantastic news for Celtic and Celtic fans. We really need his pace down the wing. And But some people say, look, Dyson's final ball sometimes can be a bit iffy. Look, we need him back for the run and it's an important game. And if Callum McGregor's not going to be 100% fit, do they play Dyson Maida from the start? And will you play him for the full 90 minutes or will he be another player that just plays for 60 minutes due to his injury woes that he's had anyway in other celtic news a celtic top for 2024 25 season has been leaked yes and surely not because that's the most boring top ever it, it's it is a boring celtic top isn't it it's um not much thought gone into it after, especially after last year's um, one that looked back at the the old glass uh, that was above the old Celtic door, this one's just green and white stripes. It's nothing really, <laughs> is it? Jesus. Anyway, uh, the fact that Dyson Celtic did put out the fact that Dyson is back in training is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully he's on the bench tomorrow and maybe he can get himself ready for the game the week later. Because let's face it, he did like to score in the first 30 odd seconds of the last time he played that, that lot. So uh, maybe he's just getting himself ready for that weekend. Anyway, Celtic season tickets renewals yes it's that time of the year for the celtic football club put out their season ticket renewals there's a massive waiting list for celtic and yesterday we put out a video showing a website that you can go to to buy tickets for games for celtic and it was interesting to read some of the comments for that but the season ticket renewals there has been a price increase of three percent let me just get whatsapp up because i did get the confirmation about this last night before it was released. But I decided not to talk about it because sometimes when you get information, you just sit on it. You keep it. We do keep it to ourselves. Um, where's the group chat? There we go. So the prices, uh, where was it? Yes, they're going up uh, 3%. It was between 3 and 5% next season, and the kids stay the same. Uh, next season will be a 20 quid increase, basically, in prices, some people are saying. But um, there has been an inflation increment, uh, which is aligned with the current economic conditions. <laughs> Affect it. And Celtic can come up with some shite, because it's only the UK that's in recession. I mean, I'm in a country where um, the economy is going quite well, it's got to be said. And the last month, the uh, GDP is grown by 0.7% or something. Um, so, yeah, um, there's not all countries that are doing bad. It's only the UK that is in recession. The season ticket cost for the kids will stay the same at £50, which is brilliant because I've got to say, fair play to Celtic because the, they've been that price since my kids were kids. That was a long time ago. Um, so for over... 20 years they have been the same price they've been 50 pounds for the for the kids although they don't get the derby matches they do not get the derby matches within that 50 pound package but the price and strategy stays the same uh, as celtic trying to make it more accessible for families uh, celtic have boasted a remarkable 99 percent renewal rate amongst season tickets holders ha has said last season 99 percent renewal rate it's very rarely that season tickets do come up. I mean, I'm devastated that that we dropped two of our tickets. I mean, we used to have five tickets in the one the one row of seats. Uh, that's down down to two. But kids grow up and they, they don't want to watch football and stuff. And they don't want to go to football anyway. The, the demand for season tickets will be fantastic. The renewal will be fantastic. It will give Celtic an injection of cash before the summer. Yes, it will give them an injection of cash right before the summer to go out and buy some decent players some decent players and in the news today celtic have uh, found it in their wisdom to renew the contract 
of Liam Scales. Liam Scales is a vastly improved player. Liam Scales is the player that I did say would be up there for player of the season. I did say that back in August of this current campaign. Yes, a long time ago. I says that Liam Scales would be one of the most improved players for Celtic this season. And I pretty much stand by my word with that one. And so when you look at it, when you look at the injuries that were coming in, uh, the injuries that we had at the beginning of the season, the fact that the manager threw down the gauntlet to Liam Scales and said, look, make this position your own. And even just within about a month, the manager said he was really impressed by the way that Liam Scales had improved as a player. And I said at that time, we're still in August then, just going into September, I said, look, don't be surprised if Liam Scales is the one that's partnering Cameron Carter-Vickers come the end of the campaign. He had a real reasonably good season at Aberdeen the, the season before. Aberdeen wanted them all summer. They wanted the man, Barry Robson, who is in a job now at Aberdeen. But Barry Robson, he was his first pick all summer. He was the first player that he wanted to get back in the door. He was the one and only Liam Scales. Now Liam Scales does have what we call Liam Scales moments. But he is just a young defender. Can he improve under Brendan Rodgers? Do we think he can improve as a player? Can he get better? Um, under Brendan Rodgers, the fact that Brendan Rodgers, who today also has been named Scottish Premiership Glens Manager of the Month. Ta-da! Yes, he is Manager of the Month. He gets a little trophy for that. That little trophy means nothing. It means absolutely nothing to Brendan. He'll be fair. He'll be saying, look, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I've been recognised, but the only trophy I want is the Championship Trophy and the Scottish Cup. That's the only two trophies I want to hold aloft at the end of the season so I could stand on the doorstep of Celtic Park and speak to the fans and speak to the doubters. And there's still many doubters within our fan base that said, that, look, Brendan Rodgers isn't good enough. And the fact that Liam Scales has signed this new four-year deal, four-year deal with the club that takes him to Celtic to 2028. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section. Is it the fact that this is downsizing by Celtic? Is Liam Scales a fantastic player to have as backup to someone that will come in and partner Cameron Carter-Vickers? Or, realistically, is Liam Scales and Cameron Carter-Vickers the two defenders that will be going into the Champions League again, once again, next season, if Celtic win the league? <sighs> Just take a moment there. Liam Scales to 2028 is the big news. It's all about dominating the news and it's all about making sure that Celtic control the narrative of the press. The fact that the manager today also has been named Manager of the Month will make sure that the narrative stays all about Celtic. Celtic then releasing the picture this morning will make sure they control the narrative going into the press conferences today with the manager. Uh, releasing that picture of the one and only Dyson Maida getting ready to do a sprint. Well, he's in sort of sprint mode, isn't he, in this picture, which is all fantastic news. And it's making sure that Celtic stay focused and they're not worried about any noise outside the club. They're not worried about what any other teams are saying, any other managers are saying. They're just focused completely on ourselves. Focused on ourselves and being ready for tomorrow, the big game. Make sure you join us 6p, 6.30 tonight, Celtic part-time, where we talk about the game tonight after we've listened to the one and only Brendan Rodgers interview that will be released by Celtic in the next hour or so. Anyway, Dyson Maida, back in training. Liam Scales, till 2028. <sighs> what does that say to Gustav and Rocky? What does that say to them? Spent good money on them. Will we get that money back? On that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans all around the world.